With the new Dark Crystal TV show coming out on Netflix, which, depending on how long it takes me to edit this, may already be there. You already taken too long, Delfling! I decided it'd be a good idea to do a Dark Crystal for memory, because I do not remember this movie. I remember that meeting, and I have a photographic memory. Legalized gambling is a bad idea. You can build a casino over my dead body. Blah, 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 blah. It's gonna be loads of fun. How does this movie start? <laughs> no, 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 okay, wait. Let me see if I can figure this out. Muppets. So, yes, it's Muppets. <laughs> I feel like there's a voiceover that like tells you the story of the Dark Crystal and how it's evil or it was taken by evil people or something. Here in the castle of the crystal, the Skeksis took control. It doesn't feel like a voiceover kind of movie. Is it a voiceover kind of movie? Well, it is the it 80s. It was the 80s and it is 80s fantasy. Depending on how broad your definition of voiceover is, this entire movie could technically be voiceover because they're just puppets. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I was picturing like the narrator coming with them like through the whole thing and being like, and then they went this way and they met a dog. Hey bud, I'm trying to eat. He said, oldly. His brittle bones straining to support the weight of his wrinkly skin. So I guess it starts with an exposition dump of voiceover talking about the mystics and they're the dudes that are good. I think they, they like hid the dark crystal away or something and the voiceover tells us that the dark crystal is bad or was made bad. I am literally <laughs> oh pulling God. this out of nowhere. God. I just know there's a voiceover, for sure. There's something about a dark crystal, for sure. There's something about the mystics, probably, and the Skeksis, who are the bad people. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the main bad guy is not a Skeksi. Skeksi? It's not a Skeksi. Um, no, that's not right. It's a dude in full armor. Psych, that's the wrong number. Oh! Yes? <laughs> no? He's not a Skeksis, he's a Skeksis. the Lord of the Rings! Well, <laughs> that is right. He's a sexy? Wait, wait, he's wait. So I'm right about the full armor then. Uh, Zach yeah. is confirmed. You're like two minutes into this and you're already inventing characters. <laughs> Seriously? I swear there's a different Jason, full armor! You were thinking of Sauron at the beginning of the Lord of the Rings! <laughs> Okay, I might be thinking of Lord of the Rings. That, that's probably gonna happen a couple more times. So our protagonist dude, he's a little like goblin type thing. Gelfling? Yeah. Oh, I thought his name was like Gelden or something. Are you a Gelfling? Yes. Wait, his name is Gelfling? No! No! No, isn't his name species something is similar to his species no. name? No, you haven't. Remembered. What's his name then? Is it like you Tim? I'm not telling you. So you're supposed to be able to remember this. I'm not Tell telling you what his name is. My name is Jen. So our protagonist, Tim. There are some who call me Tim. He's a Gelfling, apparently. I thought it was a Gelden. <laughs> he was raised by the Mystics, and. They're all these old, like, lizard-looking dudes, and they make a weird na a noise together. They, like, gather and they go, oh. And they harmonize. <laughs> so, Tim is, like, climbing through the trees and stuff. And then, like, the mystics, I don't know, I think they, like, chastise him for being young and willful and not old and boring like they are. I don't know about that. So easy to forget, stupid forgetful Michael. So I think we just get like a small taste of Tim's life with the mystics and then it goes to the Skeksis. <laughs> They're all creepy and evil and they look exactly like the mystics but like if the mystics 
were evil. One of them is dying. He's on his deathbed and he's surrounded by other Skeksis. I feel like I, I feel like there's something important that happens there besides just the fact that he croaks. He passes his power on to the next guy, you know, like the next guy's in charge. And the next guy's creepy and evil. And there's <laughs> none of this happens. You're shaking your head. He does, but he doesn't he doesn't pass his power on to anybody. No. It's like kind of a major plot point that he refuses. Well actually oh, what? Yeah, it's like Ooh. it's not. <laughs> He's on his deathbed, but he's like in denial that he's like, I'm not going he's, he's anywhere. Like, I'm not dying, and they're it's all my like, my power, dude. you can't have it, and then he croaks right there. I am the emperor. This, really? da this sounds familiar it's now. It's a really good scene. This sounds familiar now. <laughs> okay, so apparently, he dies, but doesn't think he's gonna die and then the next guy takes over I don't remember what's what like causes this but I distinctly remember one of them is like weedy and wants to to take over and to like prove his power he like six the other guys on him and they just like the other Skeksis just go and they just rip him apart <laughs> and they just like are pulling limbs off and just chucking bits of him all over and they just Rip them apart. I thought this was a children's Dude, It is. You know, for kids. They <laughs> freaking rip this guy apart, limb from limb, and my childhood is forever scarred. Oh. No, I swear that happens. They like eat one of them. No, it totally didn't happen. But if it did, I'd so be there for that. Are you kidding me? That seriously didn't happen. It's no. about as disturbing in that. I don't want to do this little video, but do you want me to tell you what really happens in that All right, scene? fine. Don't worry. Okay. It's in the scene. So there's two of them that both want to be king, and they have a duel. And the one that loses, all of the other ones cast him out like he's shunned. Yeah. And in order to drive this home, they attack him and they rip off all of his clothes and his finery. Oh. Yeah. And he has to like crawl out of the castle what? like a disgrace. I thought and, they and ate him. him. No, he's a poor I sense. remembered that so clearly. <laughs> this video is going very poorly for me. Holy mildew, mother of monk, monk, dangle and struggle and death. So, so far we've you know, got Lord of the Rings and Galaxy Quest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's that guy? Mm -hmm. so you were that perfect. noise I distinctly remember. Like, everyone in my family just seems to kind of do that. Well, it's like a family trait that okay. we all picked up from Dark Crystal. Mm. I hate your whimper. Mm. But when my dad used to do it, he used to scare the crap out of me with it. He'd like chase me down the hall going, so I'd go to sleep. It's like the scariest thing. I don't know why. Apparently that guy's not that scary. Or is he? You just, your face changed. Wait, please. Please, wait. Please make peace. Well, for a small child, would he be scary? He's kind of an intriguing anti-villain. For a small child, would um, he be scary? Really just... Don't listen to him. It's a trick. No, please, must listen. When we were younger, Anytime we were like eating something and like making a mess, our parents would be like, don't eat like a Skeksis. <laughs> oh, I think they kill all the mystics. I'm pretty sure that the Skeksis like, they either like just slaughter them all or they sent them something to slaughter them all or the mystics are just like, it's our time and they die. They like just turn into bones. Is that real? Pretty sure none of that's real. You're not real, man. Is this before or after Frodo takes the ring to Mordor? <laughs> okay, that didn't happen in Lord of the Rings. No one just straight up turned into bones. So there were bones. She just wanted to add that line. There were bones. Lord of the Rings is the only other movie where there's bones in it. A lot of bones. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. So the mystics just like, I guess they turn into dust. I thought it was bones. I think bones would have been more fun, but I guess that's not kid friendly. Before they turn into dust, though, they tell Tim that he has to go and destroy the dark crystal. I should have told you these things long ago. He either already had a piece of the dark crystal, or they give him a piece of the dark crystal, or he's supposed to get a piece. You want a shark? Here. And I think he's supposed to like put it with the dark crystal and then it becomes whole and that'll destroy its power somehow. Am I completely making this up? Definitely getting some of the moral alignments wrong, but that's fine. Just keep going. Okay. 
Cool. Okay. Tim goes off on his quest, and along the way he meets a lady gil gilfling, and predictability ensues. They also make friends with a weird dog creature. Is that real? Because I thought for sure that that was Labyrinth. The air is sweet and fragrant, and not may pass without my permission. I was like, I don't know if oh. I'm remembering this correctly. I think I'm thinking of Labyrinth. They make friends with a dog person thing. Weird dog creature. No, no, Fizzgig. You stay here. Dole. <laughs> Together with their dog, they do stuff. I think they go to a swamp. Do they go to a swamp or is that labyrinth? Oh no, I'm sinking. Uh, don't move. Don't move? Where would I go? So there's a part in a swamp. I was right. I don't remember what else they do besides going through a swamp. Uh, I think they're mostly just trying to get to the castle where the, where the dark crystal is. Yes. What I'm thinking of is that they go from the Mystic's village to like Tim meets the girl and the dog and then Tim, dog, and girl all go to the castle where the Dark Crystal is. I do not remember anything in between castle where Dark Crystal is and swampy area. Uh, I remember trees. I remember lots of trees, forests, trees. Is there a part where is there like a weird puppet sex scene? No! <laughs> this is a kid's movie, Johnson, no! Is there a weird America? I just had like a mental image of like a weird thing with two puppets like about to kiss and it's like weirdly fuzzy in the background like a dream sequence. What's happening? We're dream fasting, sharing our memories. They read each other's minds at one point and they get to see each other's past history. Yeah, but it's, like, okay. it's all wholesome, cute childhood stuff. Okay, but I mean, is it weirdly dreamlike and like fuzzy? Yeah. Okay, then that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know why I thought it's that like was... It's like no sex! It's, it's like a Vulcan mind melt. It's There's like no a... sex in this children movie. <laughs> the last time I saw this movie, I was a small child. And these are the things I remember from it. <laughs> you remember sex so... and people getting ripped apart. You guys, I think Jensen's little child brain was just reading in between the lines. Yeah. And the diamond turned into a baby. Our parents are having a baby, too. They had sex. I'm sorry that I keep coming back to this, but I'm also a little bit concerned about trauma you might have suffered as a result of believing that they had ripped this man apart. I think maybe I just got him mixed up with another movie. I think you got him Possibly with Galaxy <laughs> Quest. Let's get out of here before one of those things kills Guy. You're actually really close to the end of the film. Now. Yeah. Yeah, because that's I mean, where I think I am. Well, I watched it every year for six months when I was like eight. <laughs> every year for six months? <laughs> what? Sorry. Let me, let, take two. I watch this movie every year for six months. 27 hours a day! I'm 40 hours Literally 40 day. hours. If you're not watching Dark Crystal for 40 hours a day, you're not watching enough Dark Crystal. <laughs> About to say you're not dark and crystal enough. You ain't fat. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Do they wear armor of the people and sneak in? Because that's what I'm picturing. That's sort of the phrase. <laughs> they do have to sneak in though, for sure. Do they get caught at one point, and like one of the Skeksis finds them and makes like a weird like noise? Or is that Lord of the Rings? <laughs> he just makes a really pained noise, which tells Damn. me it's not even close. Sam makes his loud noises to scare the orcs away. Yeah, you're it's... remembering Sam's Whoa. shadow on the wall. No, I was oh, thinking of the big guy who makes the bull noise. That's like <laughs> I think that's what I'm oh, thinking yeah. of. But, but I swear that happens. Wrong. I swear one of the Skeksis makes like a weird loud noise. No, that didn't happen. Well, do they run into someone who's like mystical who helps them like point them in the right direction? Um, yeah. okay. What's it for? Mm -hmm. Not a person? Well, there are no people. Is it just a voice? <laughs> right. I, w I was picturing Galadriel, but no, I was still close. Like I'm serious, you guys. This movie was just them wanting to make a Lord of the Rings movie. I'm pretty sure that Tim and his friends are sent on this because they're small enough they can sneak into the castle and get to the Tark Crystal without anyone finding them. No. I swear! <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't tell me this isn't Lord of the Rings because it is! It's the lady with the ram 
James Horn who helps them. Does she look like exactly like like Tim's type of people, but with ram's horns? Absolutely not. She looks like if God ran over Scott. What? She Did looks she... like the trash collector. Yeah, in I was just about to ask the lady in, in Labyrinth like. with all the trash but, in her back. But and I like I to emulate when I carry the laundry upstairs. So much about this okay. movie I don't remember. This is ridiculous. This whole thing is just me asking questions and you guys <laughs> telling me whether or not I'm right. But is this like Fifth Element where they never properly confront the villain? I was way off. <sighs> I don't remember this movie. So they just showed me a picture of the lady with the ram's horns. I remember now. The first time I ever watched Alien, I thought, that looks like the lady from Dark Crystal. Wow. But like her head, me. her forehead is huge and she almost looks like she's got, no, no, it's not, it's not Alien, it's Predator I'm thinking of. Cause she almost looks like she's got the mouth that opens like this and she's got this massive forehead and her eyes are so far down on her head. What the lesson that we learned from this? Don't judge a book by its cover, because no. she's a good person, apparently. So we were at the castle, and we're getting close to the end. There's like, all this weird like stuff up top that um, Tim and his friends are climbing around in. I feel like there's a part where he might be riding on the dog monster, and fighting Skeksis. Does that happen? Don't He's ask. riding on the dog monster, fighting Skeksis. <laughs> Then they have to like climb down onto one of the chandeliers because I feel like there's several chandeliers in there. They're like trying to get close to the crystal because he needs to touch the crystal with the portion of the crystal that he has. He needs to like make it whole again. I can see right through you. <laughs> and so he takes the little piece and he climbs down onto it and he combines the pieces. And while he's doing this, all the Skeksis are around the crystal and they're like honing evil power from it and like making their weird throat singing Skeksis song at it. Tim touches the crystal piece to the dark crystal and it explodes since apparently I learned that the the main evil Skeksis is stabbed. No. You said he was stabbed! You yeah. said he was stabbed! The stinks! This is total BS! I was gonna say he gets impaled on a, a shard from the crystal. Oh, oh, oh. How does the movie end? It explodes. It kills all the Skeksis. The place falls down, all the chandeliers fall, all the chandeliers, the multiple chandeliers all come crashing down to and the ground. And Jupiter blows up? And <laughs> Jupiter blows up. <laughs> <laughs> All the chandeliers fall down, they land on the Skeksis and smush them. The whole castle just gets leveled. Pretty sure, yes. The Skeksis all die, and Tim, and the girl, and the dog monster, they crawl out from the wreckage, and they live happily ever after in a beautiful new world without a dark crystal there. I don't know what the dark crystal was doing to be so evil and mess up the world, and why they had to stop it, but it's better now without it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch the show? Hey. <laughs> so that that's what you say. That's how it ended. I guess that's how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I really didn't remember very so... much of this one. I have four people here laughing at me okay. because they know I'm wrong. Three of them know you're wrong. Oh. Well, Erin's laughing at me because she's following along with the others. So if your friend jumps off a cliff, you're gonna jump too? I feel like there is something else that I remembered. I'm lying. I just didn't want you to tell me yet. All right. Well, that's, I guess that's everything I remembered from the Dark Crystal. Actually, it's not evil? It, it, they're trying to heal it. It's broken. The two made one by Gelfling Hand or else by none. So the interesting thing is that before the crystal became corrupted, Skeksis and Mystics didn't exist. All right, they weren't around. When the crystal- They weren't even like the same creature. Keep going, because you're onto a thing. That... Are they Gelflings? No! The <laughs> Mystics jumps up. They're traveling for most of the movie, and there's an interesting bit where one of the Skeksis dies, and it goes back to the Mystics as they're puttering along the land, and one just disappears. That's so cool! Yeah, they're cool! They're, one this movie is things. awesome! I'm so sad like, I didn't remember it! One, also, <laughs> the main character's name, ironically, is partly your name. It's Jen. Oh! <laughs> okay that you didn't remember this character's name that has your name. Also, <laughs> the girl's name is Kira. Oh, okay. The Skeksi at the beginning, they got shunned. 
meets them along the way, mm -hmm. tries to convince One. Um, them to let him help them yeah. uh, sneak into the castle. But they're but not they don't trust it. him because they're not really stupid. Come to the castle, please show them you want peace. I was gonna think that they would fall for it and be like, he's their friend now, but I think I was thinking no. of Lord of the Rings and I was thinking yeah. of Gollum. <laughs> takes him to the podlings who raised her and then while they're there they get attacked again and the podlings all get kidnapped. And here, maybe the guys in armor you remember they look like gigantic beetles. Yeah they look, like, like, oh, they yeah. look like Oh yeah. And then after they attack the podlings Kira and Jen get away. They find the ruins of the Galfling people since they're the last two oh. survivors. So when they heal the dark crystal and all of the Skeksis and mystics combine and become one race and then disappear, it's just Jen and Kira left on the no, earth. No, no, the I and thought they got killed. I thought they all got killed by the beetles. No, no, they didn't get killed. They got kidnapped. Yeah. I don't even remember things that happened two minutes ago. I think I'll eat it now. <laughs> <sighs> I think I'll eat it now! <laughs> oh! They used to be able to get eternal youth from the Galflings, but they got them to like stare into the crystal and then they died. I remember that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that scene is terrifying! Yeah, and they did, and the eyes are bugging mm -hmm. out and it's like all purple and creepy. And yeah. So As a small child, that was my Clockwork Orange. <laughs> Jensen just compared Dark Crystal to Clockwork Orange. Oh. Kira gets stabbed in the final battle. She dies. She dies. What? She, she legit dead. dies. Shut down while you got a knife in your throat! Then but she repairs the crystal, and then when, when the beings are around the crystal, they bring her back. Yeah. Also, um, we forgot to mention this. I just feel like it's an important thing to note. Kira has wings. All the female Gelflings have are wings. They are they fairy wings? No. Are they purple they're fairy like wings? Are they like, like bug wings? No, they're like, pretty, like Barbie wings? Like pretty, um... I don't have wings. Of course not. You're a boy. I think you completely misremembered the size of the dog creature. Yeah, it's little. It's tiny. It's okay. not like they befriended him randomly. Oh. It's Kira's dog, and then <laughs> he follows him. I was thinking he could talk. Now that I've learned just how much of this movie I do not remember, I'm gonna have to go watch it and then get ready for the new series on Netflix, which may already be out depending on how long it takes me to edit this. If you were looking to, to like catch up on the movie with this video, I'm sorry, but then just didn't happen. I'm just gonna end it there.